All right, Dale, let's talk about annual ryegrass a little bit. Annual ryegrass uh, is widely used in the, in the late summer. Uh, it's a great cover crop, extremely deep rooted. Uh, probably not as commonly used as a spring plant uh, for a couple reasons that we'll talk about here. Uh, mainly because it is an annual crop and so it's going to head out uh, relatively quickly. As you can see here, we've got several different types of annual ryegrass that we'll talk about here. Uh, the Tam Tebow is, is a tetraploid type. Uh, we're right where I'm sitting here is the winter hawk, which is a diploid type. Uh, and then over where Dale is standing, we have Italian ryegrass, which uh, is, is a little bit unique. Uh, and we'll talk about those features. Uh, the tetraploids typically are a little longer season. They're, it's going to grow a little longer before it uh, makes these seed heads. And, and we just would expect a little more growth. The diploids tend to be more winter hardy. So if we were planting this in September and we wanted it to overwinter, uh, the, the diploids would be the best choice for overwintering. The tetraploids would be the best choice for probably just getting as much growth as, uh, in the fall and you don't necessarily care. Although we have seen the tetraploids overwinter here, probably just not as often or, or as consistent. Uh, annual ryegrass can be difficult to terminate, especially if you're not paying attention to growth stage and weather conditions. And, and that's probably the reason it's not often spring planted because when it gets to this uh, reproductive stage like this, it, it can be more difficult to terminate. And so you typically wouldn't use this a lot uh, for spring plantings. It would be more of the summer and late summer. If you want really good, and, and, and you'll, Dale will talk a little bit about why ryegrass is such a good grazing product. If you want to spring plant ryegrass, we really would encourage you to look at the Italian ryegrass because as you can see, it's growing vegetatively. It hasn't shot a seed head and it's not going to shoot a seed head because it's a biennial. It needs to uh, go, it has to, it has to vernalize, go dormant and then it would look like this next spring. And so if you're looking at annual ryegrass as a spring planted forage, we would really encourage you to look at, at the Italian. But Dale, why, why is ryegrass such a powerful uh, forage grass? Well, um, and we have, of course, the, the, the name causes a lot of confusion. Here we have cereal rye, and here we have annual ryegrass. And uh, as you can tell, they are two completely different plants. And this is a, a grassy type of grass. This is a cereal. And this is a cereal. Or, yeah, that's yeah. a cereal. This is a cereal. This large seed, this has small fluffy seed. Completely different plants. And not only are they different um, in appearance and, and use and, and plant family, um, they're also different chemically. Um, almost all your cool season grasses, as soon as the glucose is produced during photosynthesis, it's converted into fructosans, which gives it a degree of, of cold tolerance and, and some tolerance to different environmental conditions. With the annual ryegrass, the glucose remains as glucose. So, uh, as far as the room is concerned, this is almost like grain. I mean, just very high sugar content grass. In fact, it's, it's so high that sometimes horses will founder grazing ryegrass, just like they're getting a grain supplement. Um, so, for uh, for grass finishing animals or just putting a lot of weight gain on an animal, this is probably the ryegrasses are the number one grass in energy content. Uh, the, uh, if you want grass finished beef that's very good quality, um, this is the best steak I've ever eaten in my life. It's grass finished, right, on, on grass finished beef of harvested off the ryegrass. It's just incredible flavor. Uh, incredible animal performance. It really pairs well with the cereal grains. It grows as an understory. It's pretty shade tolerant. And then one of the other real benefits of ryegrass uh, that uh, some research is just now shedding light on is that the root exudates of ryegrass will chemically dissolve graduates, which are a, a chemically hardened clay layer in the soil that prevents root growth. They found that every year you grow annual ryegrass as a cover crop, it will dissolve about one inch of that fragipan layer. And that's really a huge, huge development. And, and it's a very deep-rooted crop. 
Uh, you know, there's been studies shown, you know, especially fall planted annual ryegrass, 18 inches high, you know, may have roots down four feet deep already. So it's very, very aggressively uh, rooted. Very dense root system and, and it tolerates clay soil and wet soil wet soils. better than any of the cereal grains. Yeah, so if you've got, you know, like some of these prevented plant guys, if they've got some really wet areas that just kind of refuse to dry up, uh, you know, maybe this Italian ryegrass, because it would grow longer before it headed out, uh, would be a really good option for them this summer. Yeah. yeah. Another place where the Italian ryegrass is used a lot is you come in the spring, you get out the swather, take your first cut of alfalfa, and you say, oh, <laughs> I've, got a, <laughs> I've got a lot of drowned out areas here. Uh, this is something that you can establish. Ryegrasses do establish pretty easily broadcast. So uh, you don't necessarily have to drag a drill out and, and cut up your existing alfalfa stand. You can broadcast the seed, it'll come up with a rain, and it's very, very good quality. People in the livestock industry who understand and know ryegrass understand what kind of quality they're dealing with with ryegrass. One of the real benefits of including annual ryegrass in a grazing mix it's just how rapid ryegrasses can recover from grazing. Um, I've turned cattle onto a blend of rye and ryegrass in the first of April, and it looked like it was 100% rye. I pulled cattle off in May, it looked like it was 100% ryegrass because the, the growing points are very low on ryegrass, and you can tell it just bounces back incredibly well from grazing. Uh, this was mowed with a with a lawnmower two weeks ago. This is two weeks of regrowth, folks. Uh, this could be grazed again. Uh, very short recovery period for ryegrasses. Of course, coupled with a very excellent forage quality, just a really good forage plant.